Do you want a nugget of truth to start out your day? If so, you have come to the right place. Here we give you a devotional power boost to the beginning of your day and pray that God will bless you as he sees you on your way. Welcome and so glad you have joined us for yet another daily devotional on Frame with a Mission. I am reading from Amazing Answers to Big Bible Questions. Today we are going to be studying Who is Michael the Archangel? Our Bible verse today is found in Daniel 12 verses 1. And at that time Michael shall stand up, the great prince who stands watch over the son of your people. And there shall be a time of such as never was seen since there was a nation, even to that time. And at that time, your people shall be delivered, everyone who is found written in the book. Questions frequently arise in Christian circles about the identity of the mysterious biblical character known as Michael. Some claim that Michael is the highest of the heavenly angels in covering cherub or a special messenger like Gabriel, and others, he is a created being. Others, such as Bible commentary, assert that Michael is simply another of the many names of Jesus. Can we know the real identity of this mysterious being? Obviously, the key to discovering this puzzling question is in Scripture. Isaiah 28, verses 10. A quick look in the Bible, considering reviews, that there are 15 references to the name Michael in scripture. 10 of these are simply people named Michael. First three of these refer to Michael or in the Old Testament book of Daniel. The last two are mentioned in the New Testament book of Jude and Revelation, which an honest study and comprehension of these and other verses whose quickly emerge inescapable conclusion of Michael's true identity. He is none other than Jesus. He is not a created angel or cherub, but this name is another of the many great titles for God's eternal Son. But by looking at the other related scriptures where similar language and wording are used, we will see the interesting pattern emerge. Join us tomorrow for the next and second part on this particular subject. If you have enjoyed this devotional, then please look around and find the like button and give it a friendly tap on the shoulder. Put a comment down there and tell me which part of this devotional was your favorite, which part you got out a good nugget that you can take throughout the day, um, and just consider subscribing because the more the merrier and, you know, God's family is not a small family. So if you would love to join us in this adventure of praying with a mission, check out what we have below. There are many other options and see you around.